archaeological discoveries both confirm and refute our preconceived notions about the course of human history. Albert Einstein is credited with developing the now famous theory of relativity more than a century ago. Because space and time are thought to be inextricably related to one another, the possibility of time travel exists, provided that physicists can one day figure out how to make it happen. However, explorers and archaeologists have known for ages that there is already the possibility to travel back in time. Indeed you can! You can get a glimpse of how the city of Pompeii functioned immediately before it was buried by the ash produced by the volcano by going to archaeological sites worldwide. When it comes to archaeological findings, you have a seemingly endless number of alternatives to read about and educate yourself on. Sarcophagi and Statues Found at Saqqara in Egypt Researchers unearthed artifacts at the Saqqara Necropolis near Cairo in May 2022. 250 sarcophagi with mummies and 150 figurines and statuettes of ancient Egyptian goddesses, including Isis and Nephthys, from 500 BCE were found. Researchers found Old Kingdom tombs at the same location in March. Egyptian dynasties from Memphis, now Greater Cairo, were buried in Saqqara. The 4,700-year-old Pyramid of Djoser is one of Egypt's oldest pyramids. Greek, Roman, Arab, and Ottoman civilizations have shaped Egypt's culture and history. At Tel El Farama in the northeastern Sinai region, researchers have found a temple dedicated to Zeus and Cassius in April. Throughout the 20th century, rumors existed that a Zeus temple was nearby, but no excavations were done until later. Pelusium, strategically placed near the Nile outlet, was the northern Sinai region in Greco-Roman times. A once drowned city rises again in Iraq. After two decades at the bottom of Mosul Reservoir on the Tigris River in northern Iraq, Kurdish and German archaeologists found a 3,400-year-old Bronze Age city from the Mitanni Empire. After 1550 BCE, the Middle Assyrian Empire ruled northern Mesopotamia and Syria. Climate change has dried up the Tigris in Iraq, one of the worst affected countries. The May 2022 site, which featured a palace and several big buildings, may have been the lost city of Zakiku, according to researchers. The complex's dried mud brick walls were in good shape after 40 years underwater. Jordan uncovers 9,000-year-old stone carvings. A French Jordanian discovery in the southeastern Jordanian desert predates civilization. The location has animal traps and primitive stone pillar carvings with mystical significance. This place may be one of humanity's oldest. Nearby animal bones and earthenware suggest the pillars and carvings were used for sacrificial ceremonies. Oman's 4,000-year-old board game In January 2022, Omani and Polish researchers found artifacts near the village of Ein Badi Saida, where Bronze and Iron Age human dwellings were previously found. The most significant item was a gaming board with designated fields and cup holes. Oman archaeologists unearthed a 4,000-year-old board game. The artifact, along with other discoveries, demonstrated the location was an important spot in prehistory and possibly also in the history of all of Oman, according to the University of Warsaw professor Piotr Bilinski. Similarities to Mesopotamian findings show Bronze Age Omanians interacted with Iraqis. A Roman cemetery in Gaza Construction workers in the northern Gaza Strip found something ancient and significant while digging foundations for a home project. They quickly phoned experts who confirmed they had unearthed a 2,000-year-old, 50-square-meter Roman cemetery with at least 20 ornately decorated graves. The burial shapes and embellishments suggest Roman aristocracy ownership. The first-century ruins and artifacts are from Judea, a Roman province. A Roman cemetery with exquisite graves in Betlahia, northern Gaza Strip on February 20, 2022. Gazan officials dubbed it the decade's most significant local discovery and proof of the region's rich heritage. 
Gaza has always been sought for its strategic location along the Mediterranean coast north of Sinai and at the foot of the Levant. Egyptians, Israelites, Romans, Greeks, Arabs, Turks, and Europeans dominated it for a millennia. Altar of the Serpent King In 2018, archaeologists in the ancient Maya city of La Corona discovered a carved stone altar that dates back nearly 1,500 years. The object was found in the jungle of northern Guatemala. It is the site's oldest known monument from the classic Maya period, lasting from 250 to 900 AD. According to La Corona Regional Archaeological Project Director Marcelo Canudo, the limestone altar contains carvings about that detail the history of the Canal Dynasty, which began its 200-year rule by seizing control in the region of the Maya lowlands. They also reveal the existence of a previously unrecognized king known as Chuktuk Cha. Given that the Kanal dynasty monarchs were referred to as the Snake Kings, the incorporation of these animals makes perfect sense. The emperor is shown carrying a two-headed serpent. Along with the snakes and engravings, the main deities of the Kanul are also visible. Researchers are learning more about how the leaders increased their authority during the dynasty's early years by examining the sculptures on the altar. So far, it has become obvious that La Corona played a significant role in the development of the kingdom. The Monte Prama Giants In 1974, farmers were plow striking their fields along Sardinia's west coast when they struck what they initially thought was a large rock in the ground. It turned out to be a stone head from the Iron Age. It was the first of thousands of limestone fragments that archaeologists discovered in the following decades. When the fragments were put together, they formed dozens of enormous 3,000-year-old statues that were as tall as 7 feet and had T-shaped eyebrows, concentric circles around the eyes, and a huge round face. The giants are holding various items such as shields and arrows. Researchers divided them into three groups warriors, archers, and boxers. One of archaeologists' greatest puzzles is what the Monte Prama giants signify. It is generally accepted that they had a symbolic force that united the society that created them. The statues were likely constructed by the Neurogic civilization, which flourished between the 18th and 8th centuries BC, known for their expert metal and stoneworking. The culture built over 6,000 distinctive megalithic structures or Naragi throughout Sardinia. Like the Monte Prama giants, these structures, along with the reasons they were built, are largely still a mystery to the archaeologists. Coin Stash At the old prison that was Port Arthur, inmates were not permitted to carry money. So the question is, how did a pile of silver shillings that were about the equivalent of a week's wage for one of the overseas of the penal colony wind up buried beneath the convict's workshop. It's an intriguing discovery, especially given how out of place it is. Richard Tuffin, a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of New England, and Miss Zidzik were the ones who led the 10-month archaeological investigation at the Foundry and Blacksmith site. It was during this time that the coins were discovered. They found others like it, like handcrafted tokens for gambling, as well as tobacco pipes and metal objects manufactured through skilled craftsmanship. The shillings, which were minted between the years 1814 and 1844, are going to be analyzed by a coin connoisseur who is known as numismatist. Fraudulent Medieval Map The Vinland map made headlines in 1965 when Yale University said it had found a supposed medieval map of North America. Scholars said it was one of the oldest maps of the continent and used it as proof that Vikings reached the Western Atlantic in the 15th century. However, many experts questioned the Vinland map's authenticity from the start because its origins could only be traced back to 1957 when an antique collector bought it from a U.S. Clemens said that whomever made the map was very skilled because it had fooled and confused many smart people over the years. The map will stay in Yale's collection even though it has been proven to be a fake. In fact, the story behind it is what makes it a fascinating artifact in its own right. Pompeii Slave Room A slave family's small bedroom in the district of Civita Giulina near Pompeii reveals some of ancient Rome's harsher realities. A chamber pot and wooden chest filled with fabric and metal objects 
no wall decorations, and only a small window for natural light. A year earlier, archaeologists found the remains of a master and slave in the same villa, providing unprecedented insight into the precarious reality of people who rarely appear in historical sources. The investigators found storage amphorae and ceramic jugs under the mattresses. The rope and wood beds are child-sized. They noted that the room's contents are treasures since they show ancient society's most marginalized citizens' lives. Ancient Theater Bedroom Archaeologists have found the remains of a communal toilet at a 2,000-year-old theater in the ancient city of Smyrna, Turkey. The bathroom was built in the 2nd century AD and used until the 5th century. According to the Izmir Metropolitan Municipality, the U-shaped structure accommodated 12 people. The theater had a larger public toilet where users cleaned themselves with a shared sponge on a stick and rinsed off in the nearby throw of flowing water. In today's society, the idea of going to the bathroom in front of others is appalling. But for the ancients, it was just a part of everyday life and even a chance to socialize. After all, you might as well just catch up while you're sitting there. Medieval Propaganda In 1330, the Black Prince, Edward of Woodstock, became heir to the English throne. He went down in history for securing several victories in France during the Hundred Year War. Oddly, nobody knows how the Black Prince got his nickname, which first appeared on the historical record during the 16th century when he was dying from dysentery in 1376. He drew up a will dictating that he wanted his effigy to be metal and fully armed in a plate of war. Researchers had said that this wish was unprecedented. Historical records show that marble for Edward III's tomb was shipped to England in 1386, at a time when Richard II had recently put down a peasant's revolt and was struggling to maintain his power. He was engaged in numerous projects to commemorate his family's legacy, perhaps a way to assert his authority now that he was an adult. Therefore, the new study suggests that the marble for Edward III's tomb was transported to England in 1386. The Roman Battle Site In a remote area of southeast Switzerland, where Romans battled a local tribe in the first century BC, artifacts have been discovered over time. However, until recently, the authorities believed that the site had been completely cleared of anything of archaeological value. However, Lucas Schmidt, a dentist who volunteers with his local archaeological association in his spare time and searches the site for hidden artifacts, recently disproved this theory. Excavating the site, after learning of the discovery, an archaeological team discovered hundreds of items, including slingshot stones, coins, nails, and a portion of a shield. These discoveries are the first indication of a Roman battlefield in Switzerland. It was a tiny conflict compared to some of the other engagements the Romans fought abroad in Europe. According to Roman archaeological expert Peter Schwartz, researchers wanted to determine the precise date of this conflict and link it to an order issued by the Roman Emperor Augustus in 15 BC to gain control of the area. No graves have been discovered. Therefore, it is unknown how many soldiers perished in the skirmish. However, excavations are ongoing and should eventually reveal additional details about what really took place there. Oldest Footprints in the Americas New Mexico footprints reveal humanity arrived in the Americas 10,000 years earlier than scientists imagined. Scientists found ancient human footprints in White Sands National Park in New Mexico. These 23,000-year-old footprints disproved the theory that people initially crossed the Americas. These traces suggest people arrived in America during the Ice Age when vast glaciers would have blocked their passage. Ancient people walked over moist, sandy terrain around a former lake, leaving footprints. As the ground hardened, dirt filled the footprints, fossilizing them. Erosion has revealed several prints the oldest of which can be carbon dated at, at 22,800 years old by examining the silt. Scientists detected human, mammoth, camel, and direwolf tracks. One pair of prints depicts a gigantic sloth avoiding humans. These results depict 22 millennia old life. 4,300 year old tomb. The discovered tomb belonged to a guy named Metjetju according to the researchers from the Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology at the University of Warsaw. According to a statement from the study team, 
Hieroglyphs on the tomb show that Majetju handled sealed royal documents, served as a priest for King Teti's mortuary cult, and was an inspector of royal estate. This tomb was found close to the steppe pyramid of King Djoser, and archaeologists believe it dates to the era of the earliest pharaohs of the 6th dynasty. Due to his royal status, Majetju would have had the social standing to commission the construction and decoration of his burial site for an exceptionally competent hand. The announcement claims that the tomb's rocks were extremely delicate and needed to be preserved right away by specialists from the National Museum in Warsaw. Olduvai Gorge This 30-mile area of Tanzania's Rift Valley reveals much about human evolution and our species' existence. Olduvai Gorge fossils indicate a 1.9 million year old predecessor human species. Stone tool use and a hunter gatherer lifestyle have expanded our social and cognitive complexity. Tools and animal remains recovered in a concentrated region showed social interaction, which increased in more recent remains. Homo sapiens may have lived there 17,000 years ago. Cave of Altamira the Cave of Altamira shows how archaeology and anthropology can convey a beautiful story. The first prehistoric paintings of creatures and human hands were found in a Spanish cave around 1880. The revelation transformed our understanding of primitive humans who were thought to lack artistic ability. The 14,000 to 20,000 year old artifacts reveal our distant ancestors' lives. The Dead Sea Scrolls 800 texts were uncovered in 11 caves, 2 kilometers inland from the Dead Sea near Kirbet Qumran, an ancient West Bank village. Some of the earliest Hebrew biblical texts date from 700 years before Jesus Christ. They've illuminated the Bible's 2,000-year history and how it was compiled over many years for biblical interpreters. 200,000-year-old skull over the years, ever since man started exploring fossils and archaeological stuff, many skulls have been found. Researchers have dated the oldest skull to be around 233,000 years ago. This is what makes this skull so special, because this one dates to approximately 200,000 years. In 1970, two partial skulls were found in a cave in Greece. These skulls proved that our human ancestors must have left Africa much earlier than scientists and experts have assumed. Research on the skulls show that they must have belonged to early Homo sapiens. When they were dated, they were about 200,000 years old. The most fossilized remains of modern humans found to date have mainly been found in Africa. The skull was the earliest evidence that modern humans also lived outside the African continent. However, when the skulls were recovered, they were damaged. Because of this, scientists and researchers have to use CT scans to reconstruct the missing or damaged parts. After further investigations, it was found that the two skulls must have come from two individuals who came from very different regions. And for two skulls to have existed in this cave, they had to have been deposited here 40,000 years apart. Chamber of the God of War in ancient Persia, it was common for worship to be paid to more than one god. This was in addition to their own kings. Because of this, several temples were used to serve several gods. This was mostly common in Roman Greece. However, in Mesopotamia, which is present-day Iraq, an ancient cultural site of the local god of war has been discovered. The excavation of this site took place in the ancient capital of the empire. This is where it is believed that it once served the Sumerians as a place for a settlement. Within the deep walls lies the temple complex that was found. This temple is believed to have been dedicated to the god of war. Archaeologists have found a lot of ancient artifacts there, all of which tell something about the history of the place. Most of these artifacts are believed to have been dedicated to this deity. In addition, there is a pit that experts believe was used for ritual battles. It is believed that this ritual battles took place here in honor of the god of war. Before going to war, for example, people had to fight for the god's blessing so that he would support the campaign and the war. This was the first part video about the 20 greatest archaeological discoveries of 2022. Stay tuned for the next video. Part 2 will be released soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button before you go. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.